Yer, what's good? August 12th, peeps. What's good? What's good? It's so good to see your faces. Um, this is a daily meditation of the day. Please take this uh, medicine. And if you resonate with it, if that's good. Just let it sit in your heart and see how it may permeate throughout your day. And so, spirit... Give us the medicine for the day that the audience uh, needs to hear for whenever they watch this video. Okay. It's a very old ass writer weight deck. Okay, so let's get into this. Okay. Put it there. Ah! All right, let's just get with this card. This is the Eight of Cups. The message that's coming through for a lot of you guys is it's time to fly the coop. It's time to do bigger and better things. Not necessarily better. Not like you're not doing great already. But the Eight of Cups talks about a lot of independence. We are still in Leo season. It's still that time to shine 24-7, all day, every day, baby. But with the Eight of Cups... It's almost an indicating factor that in some regard, you are now transitioning and shifting into a more vibrant aspect of yourself where you're daring to take up space, where you're daring to say, I'm worthy, I deserve this, I want it all and more. I've got one life to live, God knows when I'm going to croak. That could be tomorrow. So why not do try to do all the things or reach for all the things or achieve for all the things that I want to do now or at least set a foot in that direction, okay? The Eight of Cups speaks a lot about independence. It speaks a lot about listening to what your heart wants, what your Ori wants, what your higher self wants, what your spirits want, what you want, okay? Above all the noise, above what society is telling you what to do, your parents, what you think you need to be doing in this lifetime, what your fears are telling you to do. It's about numbing that down and really listening to that innate wisdom that lies within you. This may require that you fly the coop. This may require that you do some dramatic changes in the pursuit of your highest goals, your highest desires, your highest passion, whether that is this relationship ain't really serving me no more. I've been with you for 13 years and I'm kind of scared to kind of venture out and do my own thing or find another partner or what have you. But I know it's got to happen. So do this, right? Whether it's that, whether it's, oh my God, I've been in this career for so long and it gives me a solid paycheck, but I really want to launch my own business, right? And making moves for that. Whether it's I don't know why spirit is calling me to move across the country, but spirit is calling me to move across the country and I can't ignore those messages and downloads, right? Regardless of how this information is coming through, it is almost in preparation for something bigger that's on the horizon. Some of you may already be feeling this on a cellular level. Some of you may have already received messages prompting signs, dreams, readings, whether it's from your own people in your shrines, whether it's your own cards, whether it's another practitioner, whether it's just a knowing in your in the depths of your soul. Like, I know I got to do this. I know I, know I got to go. There's no logical component to this, but I got to do it, right? The Eight of Cups is saying, go ahead. Find your own path. Go determine your own path. Just make sure that you resonate with that path. And a step forward is better than no step. As soon as you've taken one step, one step at a time, another path will reveal itself for you. And the pathway to what you're trying to pursue will reveal itself to you. So Spirit is saying be patient with that, but have no fear, okay? own your power know what it is that you're working with know what it is that you bring to the table know that you are the table know that you are the spell know that you are the ashe that you've been looking for right the the green light that you have been looking for okay there is a sense of commanding things into existence that 
comes into play with the eight of cups. There's a sense of having inner conviction and inner confidence. Where does your confidence lie? We all have confidence, okay? We all have confidence, but is it confidence in fear? Is it confidence in yourself? Is it confidence in, you know, where does your confidence lie? And that's a good thing for you to know day to day. What am I putting my belief systems into? What am I investing in? Am I investing in my doubts? Am I investing in winning and slaying and coming out on top and really making the best of this life, right? Um, I also have a feeling that a lot of secrets, <laughs> secrets or things unbeknownst to you will be revealed. It's not like something has been uh, literally hidden. It could be something within your subconscious is now popping up like daisies or it could be things that you have not found closure in or have closed the door on is now like summoning itself up from the dead. Whether it's people in your past, whether it's previous problems and situations that you've avoided, thought forms, activities, hobbies, et cetera, et cetera. All right, that could be coming up. It's time for you to take a solo trip, whether that is quite literally going out somewhere, taking a trip, and uh, kicking with yourself, being intimate with yourself, doing the inner work, doing the inner exploration, being curious with, oh, why does why do I feel like this? Where did this come from? And 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 what is the medicine here? Where where does the medicine lie? What is this trying to teach me? And what would happen if I just held space for this new reality to enter my my fields? And what would happen if if I just you know, acted like this instead, or, or I didn't give much energy to X, Y, and Z. How would my life change now, right? And just exploring and playing with that possibility. Um, because it's, 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 it's almost like a time of awakening. I also see a lot of searching. There's the, the word searching or researching is coming out. Researching, relearning. So for some of you guys, it could be like, oh, I, I, I feel pulled to study astrology, right? But when you start studying astrology, you may notice this resonates with me hardcore. It feels like I've learned this before, right? It could have been in the past life. Um, so it's researching, you're relearning, you're rediscovering something that your soul already inherently knows and recognizes. There is that energy coming through with the Eight of Cups where you're on a quest. And some of you may not know what the hell that quest is. The book may fall off of a shelf in your friend's house or bookstore. Or you may rediscover a book or listen to a podcast or get inspired through one of these readings. Or, you know, you meet somebody that tells you something that clicks and you're like, oh, let me go to that webinar, seminar. Or let me try and do this. And... And you get to find something that feels like home for you. I do feel like a lot of you guys are coming back home to yourselves in some regard. Like fragments of your soul or getting reconnected to the source. So, so it's a lot of rediscovering, researching, studying, finding aspects of yourself, learning aspects of yourself that maybe you just never dug beneath the surface and you're just like this is who i am and this is my personality and i'm gonna be stoic until i'm 95 and like i can't grow right that's not happening we are evolving creatures we're proactively seeking a new phase a new chapter a new skin a new way of being a new perspective a new modality a new way of doing things so it's saying what is your next level you're over here you know, whether you're an artist, you're over here. Can you go above and beyond? Can you defy gravity? Can you levitate? Can you like, what is your version of that, right? Are you challenging yourself to develop personally and to expand beyond the confines of what you think is possible for you in this lifetime within the mold and the structure that you have put yourself in within the box and the limitations and the labels that you put yourself in this is a time to discover who am i without those labels who am i without those identifications what what is my spirit what does my spirit want right and ways for you to discover that may be I'm feeling pulled over here. Let me go. Let me go see what that's about. If I'm feeling pulled to go discover this topic or go call this person or go over here or make this move, let me see what's going to happen next, right? 
So a lot of this does deal with faith, but how much faith do you have in yourself? Stay tuned, we'll find out.